Hello guys and welcome back to Up New York Lawn. Today I'm outside, not in the office. It's uh, much nicer. You can see the background, that's my backyard, which is my jam, let's call it like that. It's my little precious thing because it's the only thing that looks kind of okay of uh, my entire lawn. And well, I just wanted to to give you guys an update on what am I working on uh, as of right now. Remember last week that the mechanical leveling, I, lo I know it's not the right way to call it. I just love calling it like that. And just forgive me, guys. This is my second language and I like it. Mechanical rolling, right? By the way, as I told you, I did it here as well. And at the beginning it was a little weird. It was flat, but I was concerned about the grass. But it turns out very well, it looks very nice. And today I'm gonna be doing a few things here. I actually, yes yesterday I'm gonna show you in just a little bit. Um, I lowered the, the head of cut from two and a half inches to one and three quarters. I wanted to see how the grass reacts to a lower cut and it looks really good. I know I have a mixed salad of grasses in this backyard. I have like, Rye, Fescue, KBG, my neighbor doing uh, renovations in the back, everything. And crab grass, of course. But I'm gonna do my best to keep it as nice looking as possible until the end of summer. And then let's see what I do. So let me show you part of my back here and what am I gonna do with it? Well, here, as you can see, this is the, um, the area that I tried to level a few weeks back, but then after the rolling, I just put a little bit of more seed. I think it's coming along very nicely. Uh, it's filling up slowly, but it is filling up. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see a little bit of the lines, but I'm cutting it very short, like one and three quarters. I did it yesterday and I just love it. Actually uh, giving some space for the new seeds to breathe and get some as much sun as possible. Um, there's not much germination slash growth so far, but I think and I believe that it's gonna turn out pretty well. Well, because not everything is perfect in every lawn, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit of the non as good areas of mine. This area here next to the fence, I still need to work a lot on them. Uh, it's, it's a very tall grass that I hate. I put some more seed and level a little bit there. But as you can see, this area, it's much longer, but I'll fix it soon. This area here is probably the area that I love almost the most of my entire backyard, because uh, especially yesterday, again, as I said before, I cut it at one and three quarters and it looks very nice, especially now that it's so flat compared to before, and I just enjoy it a lot. This area here, I didn't cut it that short yet because it retains a lot of water and today is gonna to be the day that I'm gonna be taking it lower before the overseeding and the start of fertilizer. But still, it looks much better. Um, I remember a few days ago after the rolling, everything was like bending so much. And now I really enjoy the look of it. And I hope I can stripe it soon. That's the shape of my backyard uh, as, of, uh, as of today. Hopefully it will be better in a couple of weeks. Uh, I have a big celebration here. We're doing a uh, housewarming on Memorial Day and I'm really focused on having the best lawn possible uh, for that day. I know it's going to suffer. We're going to have like 25, 30 people. Don't worry. We will be very cautious COVID-wise. Actually, I'm getting the vaccine on Thursday. If I don't talk to you anymore, it's because, well, hopefully not. Well, that's the idea and I'm going to be working on it today. I I'm gonna be showing it to you. I might show you my last mow before that overseeding. And in case you're wondering, if you follow my Instagram account, which I will link here probably, you know I'm a big fan of hats. I have like almost 60 hats in my house. 
And this is to honor one of the YouTubers that um, really helped me a lot to learn about Lonker. Uh, I really love the guy, he's an amazing character. Kyle from uh, Lake House, Lonker. And of course, White Sox, because of him. By the way, if you wonder, yes, I know you can hate me, I'm a Yankee fan, yeah, we, this year, but it's okay. I just love baseball and I love hats. I even own a Boston Red Sox one. I might use it one day. I don't know, just, just comment down below if you're a Sox fan and you would like to see me wearing a Boston hat in one of my videos and I'll make it happen. That was a nice mall. I really, really, really enjoy it. It's, it is really a big difference. It's way more level. It's easier. There's almost no bumps. The grass is back into life. And of course, the Green County uh, micronutrients that I put down like three weeks ago, uh, of course, still looking great. I might put a little bit more humic acid soon, but so far, I love it. If I'm spoon over seeding and top dressing, why not spoon pit mossing?
Well, that's a wrap, finally. Where I started yesterday mowing at the one and three quarters, getting everything ready, overseeding, top, dre top dressing, overseeding. I finished it this morning uh, putting uh, the pit moss that you just saw. Uh, I'm, as we speak, I'm just watering that uh, area because we are expecting uh, a lot of rain in the next couple of days, but I just wanted the pit moss to settle in. But yeah, one day and a half to get this uh, done. Like I said in the last episode, of course, I hope it works. I think this one is gonna work pretty well. I can see some germination in some spots here in the backyard. The backyard is gonna be really good. The front, I still have my, my doubts, but I'm positive. I think uh, this amen uh, to the front lawn, uh, it's gonna work out fine. And I'm gonna be telling you the progress here. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like this journey, please subscribe, hit that notification button. And if you like this video, of course, thumbs up, comment, and all that good stuff. Thank you so much again for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya!